Hello everyone, my name is Kala Siddiqui and in this video we are going to replace the main board on a Garmin Street Pilot C340. It's a Garmin Street Pilot C340. You probably ask why would you even spend your time, invest your time on something that's nearly 15 years old. The reason is the ease of use on these units are way way better than any of the new ones. If you buy a new Garmin and you try to navigate to a different city, not the one that you're in, a different city, you will have a very hard time. On this one, it's very simple. Just click, pick the city, pick the country, and you're good to go. The only problem with these older units is that it takes longer to find satellite reception. That's the only problem. Okay, so let's get started. In order to uh, replace the motherboard on this or the main board whatever you want to call it on a Garmin uh, Street Pilot C340 you have to remove the front faceplate to have access to the screws that opens the device okay now you would not be able to see where to pry this open but if you if you fold it like this right here you can see that little notch right there that notch is for your fingers to put your nail in it and, and, and push it like, like this, like this, like that. See how easy it is? It's very easy, very easy. It comes out. Make sure you don't break it. A lot of people break this when they try to open it. So the, it has four anchors, four hooks, two on this side, two on this side. So don't apply too much pressure from here because you will break it from the weakest spot from here here or here so try to apply pressure nicely from both edges talking about how old this is remember I said it's nearly 15 years old I wasn't kidding look at the date on that 2007 so it is 15 years old now it's 2023 so yeah it's it's really old that's actually 16 years old okay so now we have access to the f four screws that we can open in order to get it to, uh, you know, get get access to the inside. Uh, all right, let's get a screwdriver. <coughs> you for 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 opening the case, you need a Phillips screwdriver. It's just any Phillips standard size, smaller size. I'll I have to mention it's a smaller size. Let me give you the the name of this tip. Which size it is? Let's see. Okay, so this uh, this is very hard to read. It says Dewalt. It doesn't say the tip size. So it's just it's a smaller one out of all the sizes that they offer. There are only certain number of uh, sizes for for the electric screwdriver. Anyways, let's open this. Okay, so I have the screws open. Now what I'm going to do is open this easily and remove this. This right here, you have to remove it. That's the cable that holds it, uh, that plugs in the battery and all that. This is the board that's defective that needs to go. So this is the bad one. Remember that this is a part of the GPS, but when I purchased the new board, it already came with that piece. So I'm going to install the new one. Uh, now you're probably going to ask, where do you buy the new one? I bought it from eBay. Believe it or not, on eBay, you can find parts for these, which you can't even find on, on, uh, on the actual manufacturer's website. Okay, so I'm going to open, uh, I'm going to desolder this one. So I could use the other one. Now, notice there are two places that you can desolder this from. You can desolder it from the cable that goes to the back plate, or you can desolder it from here. But I want to desolder it from here because I want to use this one from the new board, which is already attached to the to the to the new board. I have my soldering iron set at 650 degrees Fahrenheit, 
and uh, that should be enough to melt uh, this uh, solder. To be on the safe side I'm gonna put just a little bit of white paste soldering paste just to be on the safe side. Now let me zoom in this is a very critical cable this cable actually has uh, two pay attention here this cable has uh, two conductors one is the, the shield the other one is the RF signal uh, carrier so you have to first undo the shield which is which is this guy and then undo the RF carrier so I'm gonna undo the shield first so the shield is undone now I'm gonna do the RF carrier and there it is so basically if you look at that cable it's the shield and then the RF radio frequency carrier okay so that's how you do it now let me zoom back out so you can see the whole picture we are going to open these four screw three screws inside do not lose the screws also when you open the screws be careful with this little small little on off switch thingy because this is so fragile this will break and also the cable for the screen is extremely fragile once you open it lift it up from the bottom from these conductors like this because this side is where the cable is okay so lift it up like this and see the cable there so you have to Un unplug that cable however you cannot unplug it because you don't have access to it unless you un unlock the screen and to unlock the screen you have to un undo this hook right there you see that hook it's not even it's very hard to see that let me zoom see if I can take take a zoom onto that thing so see that corner there's a hook that you have to open it there so now it opened the hook was right here now you have another hook right here which you need to open so let me remove this and show you which were the hooks the original hook that was holding the screen was this guy which I kind of folded like this the secondary hook was on this side, which I kind of folded, I mean, not fold, pushed it, pushed it like this. So you have to push that this way, and you have to push this one this way in order to release the screen. Now that you release the screen, let me show you how you remove the cable. There are two cables. This cable is for, this cable right here is for the data or the video and this cable is for the touch screen so in order to open the video screen you have to flip this up like that see how this flips in and out you flip it up in order to open this you have to push this out there so you have to push it out parallel now this is the defective board okay so this is the defective board even if I were to break this no biggie because this is trash but with the new one be very careful these are very fragile okay all right let's get our new board By the way, your hands have to be st uh, uh, static, she uh, statically grounded. So uh, your uh, is your workspace. This is a static, uh, anti-static work uh, mat, and uh, my ha my body is grounded. Uh, so these are all static sensitive devices. So be careful. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to plug the screen before we plug it back in okay 
So again, you flip this up, see that? It's down, flip it up, push the screen in, and close it, like that. This one is already out, so you have to push the cable in. Push it in like that, and lock that in. This is very nice. So let me, let me zoom in, we could show you. That's very nice. It's, it's a good, it's a good uh, uh, connection. Okay. Now, see how this, uh, how deep this goes so you don't see any of the, uh, you know, let me, let me darken this. Uh, I don't like how I get reflection from these things. Let me darken this so you could see better. There. See how deep this cable is? I don't see any um, brown part. It's all, all the way in. Same thing with this, most of, mostly in. You can't have the cable plugged in halfway in. It has to be all the way in. So you don't see any of the brown part. Okay. Now, watch what you need to do next. Okay. Let me zoom out again. What you need to do is you need to push this back in. Remember, which side goes in first? The top of the screen, or uh, the, 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 the side, the opposite of the cable, is going to the bottom of the GPS. This is the bottom of the GPS. The top of the screen, or, or opposite from the cable, goes to the bottom. And see how those went in? like that and then you push it down then you push it down like that now see notice so, let me tell you something when I was pushing it down I let loose of the of the board because the board cable is not long enough that cable is not long enough for me to push this down and still have enough room so I have to let the cable relax let the uh, main board or motherboard relax and, and s get seated when I push it when I'm pushing down the screen now we have three screws the silver ones your screwdriver settings must be in minimum because these are very delicate screws you cannot strip them by over tightening them so my screwdriver setting is at minimum uh, when I'm when I say minimum I'm talking about the clutch the clutch of the screwdriver. Clutch is where the screwdriver reaches its maximum torque allowed and then it will start skipping. That's the clutch. Okay. Now what we need to do, we need to uh, solder this guy to this guy. Okay, we need to solder. This is the this is the bad one. This is the bad one. So let's solder this. Soldering it is a challengeful task. So when you solder it again, you have to do just like you desoldered it first. You did the uh, first you did the shield and then the center, but when you're soldering it, you have to do the, the other way around. You have to do the center first and then the shield, okay? So, let me see if I can get a better angle from this camera, because this, the top camera, gets the light reflection. Hopefully this is in focus and visible. And let's solder this puppy. Okay, that one went very well. And there is the shield. 
Everything went very well. Okay. Now, we will plug in our battery. Actually, before we plug in the battery, we have to put this guy, okay? So let me show you how you put this guy in. You put this guy in in the following fashion. You put the, these on top, these at the bottom of this slide. There's a slide. You see this little thingy? L-shaped plastic? Okay. This goes on top of it. This goes at the bottom of this. Watch. Like that. This one is on top, that's at the bottom. It's very tricky, very tricky. This sometimes moves, so I'm gonna put a piece of tape. I don't want it wiggling and moving. Okay, now I close this and I plug in my cable. Like that. Cable is plugged in. And everything seems to be good. Let's close the screws. Now we will put the cover back in place. There it is. Everything seems to be in place perfectly fine. Now I'm going to power it up and see if my surgery went successful. It's powering it up right now. This came from a rental car. So see the board that I bought from uh, from eBay? The board came from, from an enterprise rental car. Because these are like 15 year old GPS units. So they, you know, send them the recycling and that's how people get them and put them on eBay. Okay. And voila. It's up and running. The screen is nice and bright. And it's good to go. Now all I need to do is put the newest 2023 maps. And I will be a happy camper. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe.